Welcome to the ADP Deputy Purchase and Setup Guide. This video will show you how to purchase Deputy through the ADP Marketplace, set up Deputy for the first time, and integrate it with ADP Run Payroll Services. To get started, uh, let's go ahead and log in to Run. So we're going to go to runpayroll.adp.com and enter our user ID and password to log in. Once Run finishes loading, on the main app dashboard on the left, you want to click on HR and business apps. And this will load a splash screen. I click on get my free apps to go to the ADP marketplace. And you'll notice on the ADP marketplace, you're already logged in up in the top right. Uh, go to find applications in the search bar and type deputy, then hit enter or click on the search icon. This will show you all of the deputy apps within the marketplace. Go ahead and click the view profile for Deputy for Run powered by ADP. And then click the buy now button up in the top right. The first thing you'll have to do on the purchase order screen is choose between premium and the e-time card migration. You make your selection on the left hand side and then click continue. Next you want to choose ADP invoice for your billing details. If you don't have an ADP invoice option or wish to use a credit card instead, you may enter your credentials there and hit continue. Next, you'll be brought to the confirm order screen. Uh, check the box at the bottom to agree to the app's terms and conditions and click place order to finalize. Finally, once you get to the order receipt page, click on go to my apps and you should see deputy under your applications tab. To get started with the setup for Deputy, click on the icon and it will ask you to confirm your email for the ADP Marketplace. Go ahead and click Allow and you'll be brought to the Deputy Setup Wizard. Um, if there's any adjustments that need to be made on any of these pages, go ahead and make them. If you need to change the business name or location address, go ahead and change it on the left and then click Next. Next, you'll be brought to the areas of work setup page. This is optional. However, it is very useful for scheduling if you're going to be using that feature. Um, go ahead and enter any areas of work that your employees may work under. These can be roles or physical areas or customer names. And then hit next. Now we're brought to the employee setup screen. Uh, this is where we're actually going to be doing the integration with ADP. So choose from the drop down ADP. A pop-up window will appear with instructions on how to connect. On the left hand side, under step one, click on authorize. And this will load the ADP consent manager. Um, first, you will need to agree to the ADP marketplace terms of service. Scroll down through the document and click I agree. And then click close. You'll be brought to the Consent Manager page. Deputy API should be a pending consent. On the right, click the Manage button. Then click Allow. You'll notice that this requests the permission to access your run payroll information, and this is what we want to bring the employees in automatically. And click Continue, and you're all done with the Consent Manager page. You'll notice under Security Settings, the Deputy API is now allowed. Let's close this tab and go back to the deputy screen and choose ADP from the drop down again. This time, now that we've allowed everything, it should automatically connect all of your employees. Now deputy's pulled in all of my employees from my run account into my deputy account. I can delete any employees that don't need to be in the system from the little trash can on the right, or I can add any email addresses that need to be added in the middle column. If you don't want to send your invitation emails to the employees right away, you can turn that off, then click Start Using Deputy. Deputy is now all set up and ready to go. Your employees are in the system and we're ready to get started. One last thing to do is to set up your Deputy password. To set up your password, go ahead and log out from the top right. And we're going to go to the website once.deputy.com. This is where you would log in normally going forward. To set up your password, click on the Forgot Password link and enter your email address and click let's do this you should get a thanks confirmation at the top if everything went through let's go ahead and log into our email 
and we should have a email from deputy.com to say reset your password. I'm going to go ahead and click that and there should be a link in here. Click on that. And now I can enter my new password. So let me enter my password here and click on reset password. And we're successful. So let's go back to the login page. This is the once.deputy.com website. I'm going to enter my email address and password and click login. And that's it. Now I got my password. I can log back into deputy. I can click on view my business to get back into the deputy dashboard. And now you're probably wondering where do I go from here? Um, to learn about Deputy, there's a lot of getting started pages that will pop up um, to kind of get you through and, and let you know about the system. Um, there is also a chat, Deputy chat, down in the bottom right. Um, you just click on the chat icon and hit new conversation. And you'll be able to talk to Deputy specialists. They'll be able to help you out with your questions or concerns. And lastly, I just want to draw your attention to the help menu, which you can access from the top right. That'll give you access to a number of great features the Deputy offers, such as online help, uh, weekly webinars, you can sign up for a webinar to get a full overview of the system, um, as well as videos and walkthroughs that are available on each tab, and of course, the customer support chat is also available from the help menu as well. And that's everything you should need to know to get started. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.